I'm in Zhang Jiagang, a historical city on both the Yangtze River and the East China Sea, and renowned for its wonderful gardens. It's a place that has benefited greatly from trade over the centuries, yet it's been very careful to preserve its unique cultural heritage as it now moves together with the times and incorporates more technological innovation. Cultural heritage will be presented by cutting-edge digital and broadcast technologies in this year's Mid-Autumn Festival Gala. The gala, also known as Qiuwan, will feature song and dance, opera art and symphony interspersed with musical and sketch comedy, showcasing themes ranging from the vitality of traditional Chinese culture to recent milestones in China. Some of this year's current affairs that people are paying close attention to are featured in the show, such as the 25th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland, the Shenzhou 14 Taikonauts now in space, and the trend of China chic. One of the highlights is the performance of three classic songs of Suzhou Pingtan, a form of storytelling and singing ballads in the Suzhou dialect. I used the popular Jiang note to perform this song on the Mid-Autumn Festival. Singing such a song in a water town near the Yangtze River will be a perfect match for the festive mood. A dazzling array of artists and performers from the Chinese mainland and the regions of Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan are part of Qiuwan. Hong Kong is to be developed as a hub for arts and cultural exchange between China and the rest of the world. The Mid-Autumn Festival Gala, like Hong Kong, is internationally oriented. Under the same moon, no matter where we are, either overseas, Hong Kong or Chinese mainland, we can feel that we have the same origins. Organizers are thorough in the presentation of details, ensuring it reflects the lunar theme. This is the main stage of this year's gala. It features a circular design that highlights the beauty of the famed Suzhou Gardens. Iconic architectures such as pavilions and terraces are integrated, really create a harmonious scene. We chose the riverside as the place to set up the main stage. Through the use of perspective, our stage is two meters higher than the actual level of the river, and we will create a visual effect that links the river with the water on stage. In the middle, we will also have a main performance area with a diameter of 14 meters. That represents the full moon. Virtual production technologies and digital programmed props will allow actors to enter into different scenes, offering an immersive experience for the audience. This year's gala will be broadcast in 4K and 8K resolutions, and three-dimensional sound production and broadcasting technologies will enhance the show's presentation. Through the application of such new technologies and new means, we want to present the idea of Qiuwan for all people so that everyone can share the joy with us on the night of Mid-Autumn Festival. As one of the traditional Chinese festivals, the Mid-Autumn Festival is an important time of the year for family reunion. Performers say they want to impart China's rich traditions, especially its reverence for the moon, while sharing the festive mood with viewers in the mainland and overseas. Chinese people have a deep affection for the moon, from poetry to paintings to music. The moon embodies the imagination and emotions of so many Chinese people. The performance I brought this time is adapted from a poem of Su Shi, a poet of the Song Dynasty. I hope to pass on the traditional culture through modern expression. Over 200 large ultra-high definition screens set up in more than 22 municipalities and provinces in China will simultaneously broadcast the show. Qiu Wan will also be available on China Media Group's TV channels and other new media platforms. Ding Xiyue, CGTN.